it going guys we're back with another video and today's video I'm going to a new vending location I'm gonna take a machine to a new location but first I am at Menards I had to go buy a bunch of electrical equipment and I have to re run a plug outside of the building to plug into the vent so the vending machine could be plugged in so I got all the necessary materials I'm on my way and we will see you there We're gonna have to put the machine right here. We're gonna have to drill a hole somewhere right around this area to bring it up so it can be plugged in. So we're gonna go from the inside. We're gonna wire it up and bring it a plug in to the outside. And this is the plug that we're gonna jump off of. Yeah. If all goes well. Yeah. We're gonna go straight through that bad boy to the outside wall. That way we can plug the machine up. We had to drill through to the outer wall. That way we can run the Bromex out and then run the receptacle, the GFI receptacle outside. Here it is. You're seeing as we speak, we are drilling the hole to go out to the interior, outterior wall, the outside wall. That way we can plug in the vending machine. We made it through, guys. Woo! Voila. Damn it, focus. There you go. Let me hold it for you. Here we are putting the old one back together, just putting the old outlet that was originally there back together. And here is what it looks like put back together, that's what it looks like. We got the machine in the location and I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours because as you can see in the previous screen we had to tip it into my truck so because it was tipped I'm going to let the refrigeration coolant sit there for 24 hours. So I just got to one of my vending locations and yeah, what did I do? I forgot the freaking keys bro. Now I have to turn right back around. Drive home, grab the keys, and come back. Okay, I went home, got the keys. Here you see me now. I'm filling the machine. I'm stocking it up, getting it ready. That way it can start vending and making money.
So this machine was set up to be four deep and I didn't know it. So I have to go back and move all these adjustments. That way it's set for two deep. So I had to take out all the, the sodas and put them back in. But that is what I am doing right here. Just showing you guys how to do it. Right here is the last one that I have to move, and after that, the machine is fully stocked, ready to go, and ready to make money. It was a journey with this machine, so I had a lot of ups and downs, I had to do a lot of stuff to get this location ready, but it's finally here and it's finally ready. This is going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and like the video. Thank you guys. Have a great day.